an alternative to using the open author creation tools in OER Commons uh, is to use their dedicated lesson builder tool. Uh, and in some ways, this might be a better option to develop an open textbook. Uh, first of all, click on the Create button. And from the options that appear on the screen, have a look for the Lesson Builder for K-12. And we're going to start building. The Lesson Builder is designed around the idea that there is a dual view that uh, teachers can see it from one perspective, whereas students uh, experience it from a different one. So when you're building, you have to keep in mind then that you're building both of these views. I've loaded in, in some data to speed things up a little bit, but you can see there that there needs to be a name, a teacher overview, which is basically trying to say what the uh, lesson is about and what it's trying to achieve. Are there any materials that you've used or that are associated with the lesson that appears in the teacher materials rich text editor? And then some guidance. How would you advise the teacher approach the lesson? What preparation do they need to do beforehand? So there's a little um, uh, piece of guidance that you can insert into that particular box. Once you're happy that you've got all the teacher support materials, then you can start moving on to the actual meat of the lesson. Um, in this case, I am now going to ask for to a task. We now need to lay out what the tasks look like. The first option is to say what type of task it is. And if you look at the little drop down box, they obviously look at some um, closing or a conclusion? Is it, uh, is it homework? Is it perhaps an introduction or the opening? Is it the work time required for a student to achieve an objective or a competency? Is it perhaps some type of formative assessment or a little quiz? Is it perhaps a performance task where they need to do something? Well, in this case, um, in my little textbook, all I want to do is really uh, initially get the content across. So this is a work time opportunity. I've provided the task with a name. In this case, I'm looking at the objective called um, how do you compute using the four operators. Uh, step one uh, shows that there's a teacher um, description. This will help them uh, other teachers understand what is required at this particular stage. But the grade box is when we're now talking directly to the students. So I've put in a title and I've explained what we're going to be trying to do. Uh, you can see there's the specific objective that I want them to achieve. Uh, but now it's time to give them the actual resources. So I'm going to click on add a resource and go and insert my OERs. The first OER is called adding and subtracting decimals. It's actually a CK12 foundation uh, resource. So all I need to do then is just paste in the URL into the URL field. Um, and that one's ready to go. So now I can say I would like to add another resource. And a second box appears. In the second bo box, I want to add a e electronic file. In this case, it's a PDF. Um, so the approach is slightly different. You click on the Choose File button and navigate to where your particular document is and um, uh, open it. And then you can, uh, you'll see that the shortened name of it is available next to the little button. And, uh, and you continue this process on until you have all the resources required. Um, it's also a good idea to keep saving as you go along so that you keep all of your data uploaded to the OEL Commons server. It is possible then to stack a number of tasks one after the other, and that way you create your lesson. So if we scroll down and have a look at this particular one, for example, we can see now that there's a second task, which is more along the ideas of formative testing where you can put in some questions and some assignments. Um, the 
and, and once you've got a number of tasks uh, lined up, then you have a number of options about how you might view them. So on the right hand side, you'll see there's an what does it look like when people are searching through OER Commons? What does your lesson look like? How does it look in a classroom situation where there's teachers and students? But also how might students experience it uh, uh, when they are working on it alone? So there is a student button, preview button, and uh, this allows you then to see um, how it might look. And you can see for our textbook, it's kind of making uh, some sense now. We can have our um, our objectives, we can have our OERs all stacked below, and then when you click on the um, next button, then we can start putting in assessment opportunities whereby uh, the students can test to see to what extent they have attained the competency. There is one final step uh, that is necessary so that others can find your OER textbook uh, and also for students to be able to engage with it in the class situation. It's necessary to describe and then publish. On the describe page there are a number of text fields, some of which are compulsory, that need to be filled in to describe what your resource is about and how you might have licensed it. Um, under subjects the um, there is a drop-down box, in my case I'm interested in mathematics, um, which grades, mine are all around about middle school, and uh, what is my language, uh, mine is totally in English. Are there any other keywords, and here we could put in uh, we need to find some um, keywords which des describe what's happening in the in the resource. Uh, the more keywords you have, the more likely your resource will be found by others um, searching using the OER common search fields. Um, the license uh, is um, how is this OER going to be distributed? Uh, what are the rights that you are reserving and uh, what can people do with it? So here are we going to allow modifications very definitely and are we going to say as others share alike. It's all according uh, as to what 